Well, hello and welcome to Fat Squatch Games. That's right, we got a no boost and no container confed battle. Yeah, listen, if you want to see more confederation battles from Fat Squatch with no boost and no containers, you better leave a comment below. And if you leave a comment below, you might just win some tokens. That's right, leave a comment and you could win. Now, guys, before we jump into this, let's take a look at the enemy here. 17 and 16. First, we got Juanatito. Let's check out his clan here. Yes, he had a high win rate. Look at these guys. Yes. Oh boy. Let's take a look here. We got Lobo at the top. You guys know Lobo 7. Java Gas Inferno. Look at all these amazing guys. Fabian 2222. Yes. Jack Herso. Yeah, Jack. What's happening, buddy? Yeah, so, I mean, these guys, this is a good clan, all right? I'm showing you this to you guys because I want you to know that these are good players, okay? <laughs> and they come from a good clan. Yes. Look at these guys. They're actually ranked 78th in the uh, main ranking here for clans. Wow. Wow. Very cool. Very cool. And, uh, man, they've got a good variety of ranks in their clan. Let's take a look at the other enemy. Yes, his partner, Ebonaut from Primal. Ah, 62% win rate. Yes. Now, Primal's actually a pretty good clan as well. Uh, with the Russian flag. Yes. Let's take a look here at these guys. Ooh. All right. So they've got 49 players. Oh, wow. Look at that. A clan medal for the Searching the Nautilus. Let's take a look at these members. Yes. Another good clan, Primal. Aburkrov at the top there. Rowan. Rovers. Yes, lots of good players in this clan. And uh, Primal actually sits at 45th in the clan ranking, the main clan ranking there. So they're actually a little higher than the last clan. But these two teamed up and uh, I think they probably have played together. And the reason I say that is because they definitely had a plan there. And when they went into the battle, they were going after the Fat Squatch. <laughs> I tell you, every time I get into a battle, uh, lately anyway, it's just, it's been, uh, I feel like they're looking for Fat Squatch. And that's who they go after uh, right off the bat. But in this battle, you guys, it's not, it works out in our advantage. Yeah, it works out for our advantage. Um, but great clan, great clan. You guys seen some of these guys you recognize. So the enemy, they're good players. They've got good win rates and they come from good clans. I want to show you my, I do show you guys my, uh, account here on the live streams but real quick you can see i have a baby 15 uh yeah and i really don't have a lot of upgrades i'll show you some upgrades here in a moment but my skill level is barely a three okay barely a skill level three so it's not like i'm playing with an outstanding amazing account here this is my baby confet account baby 15 and my upgrades, I've upgraded specific things like production, um, like uh, resources, and then specific units that I like to mix up and play with. Now, you can see here my infantry. I like my infantry. Okay, you know I do. Fat Squatch loves infantry. So I've definitely taken some time here to upgrade these. You know I love my fortress, hammer. Okay, I even have the Zeus upgraded, even though I don't use Zeus a lot or haven't had to. Um, but I don't really have upgrades on a lot of these guys. You can see the bar's not very far over. And then on my buildings, I've upgraded some, yeah. You can see that. But I've got more upgrades to do here, guys. So I want to show you this because it's not a, always about the upgrades or even the skill level uh, of your skill cards. It's really about how you play. And 
So let's take a look here at this battle. And uh, just so you know, Zigzauer says he doesn't have a lot of upgrades either. Now, what I do, I do this on purpose, guys. I actually do this on purpose. So I'm not going to get containers. I'm not going to boost, okay? No boost, no containers. I've been doing this for a while. Make sure you check out my no boost battles on my channel and uh, leave a comment on those videos. You never know if you're gonna win, all right? You never know. Okay, so what I did here is obviously giving Zigzauer all the containers is gonna give him a lot of resources, which is awesome because it's gonna put him in a really good position over on the left side of the map there. He's green. I'm blue, and so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna let them scout me. I want them to scout me. Okay, I'm not gonna put up a whole whole big fight on the scouting. I'm gonna let them scout me out. Oh, here comes Zigzauer to get these containers. And the reason I'm gonna let them scout me is because I already know, because of the resources Zigzauer has, his his base is gonna develop quickly. So what's gonna happen is they're gonna see his base, and they're going to go. Wait a minute, blue looks weaker. Okay, so. This is, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to make them think that I am the one they want to attack. And they actually take the bait here. Let's take a look and watch and see what happens here. So I've got my factory going up there. I need more power. You can see Zigzauer's flying. And he was able to get a lot of the containers on the map. So I'm really happy about that. And they really are leaving him alone, really, to let him do what he wants to do. You'll see here in a moment, the scouts are coming. They're coming to check me out. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Red's trying to scout it out there. Here comes Red over here. So this is the first scout. And Red sees I'm trying to get my factory up. You can see my HQ is only a level one. And I waited for the scout. I waited. I waited for the scout. Yes, come come see my level one HQ. And yes, okay. So now we've got power up, and now I'm going to upgrade my HQ to level two. So you gotta create some deception here, you gotta deceive the enemy. And you can just see, you, you'll see how this works because you can you can already tell. So red already sees this. They're probably having a conversation right now, red and yellow about who they want to attack first, right? Now, Zigzauer gets a good look over here at Red's base. You can see Red's got more supply going up and they're moving right along. Yellow, we're kind of leaving Yellow alone at the moment. And I've got a Fortress coming out just to kind of help with any kind of infantry at the beginning here. So here he comes, and, and Zigzauer says, hammer and infantry, hammer and infantry. And I'm like, yes, I will, no worries, no worries. But I always like to pop out a fortress first. Now, we've got HQ2, we've got three supply. Remember, we're not doing any containers and no boost. And red and yellow, I'm sure we're boosting. Trying to get ready to go here and get as many guys and units as they could. So now I'm going to throw up another supply center for a fourth supply center. Get some more resources going here. And I'm upgrading my factory now. So I popped out one fortress, upgrading the factory. And we're going to jump into this and get ready. Because there's not a lot of time, guys. We're at four minutes. Here comes red again with a scout so this is the second scout and they're really checking me out this is where they actually just this is where they make their decision so he's coming on over he sees I have a couple barracks and you can he can see that there's a hammer coming out of the factory there you can see my little base here yes so he gets a good look, a good look at my base. And Zigzauer scouts out yellow. Look at all those coyotes yellow has. 
Yeah, they must have been watching some extreme videos, huh? Okay, here we go. So, Red scouted me out good, and he's heading over to Zigzauer. And <laughs> doesn't make all, doesn't make it all the way, actually. So now I'm popping out hammers, and I'm actually going to upgrade my barracks to heavy assaults. Because I already know, after that second scout saw my base, I already, I already know that they're going to pick me. They're going to pick Fat Squatch. They're going to come up to Blue's base. And if we're lucky, they're both going to do it. So let's see what happens. And what you're trying to do here is if you are in my position and you can survive that attack from the enemy, that allows your partner like Zigzauer here to attack one of the bases. And you'll see here in a moment. Nice. Look at that. <laughs> I love this shot right here. Just right over the right over the hill. That's hilarious. <laughs> oh god. Oh, oh, is that a rifleman? What are you doing, rifleman? Oh boy, that guy wants his commit. He's he has a death wish, that guy. Whoa! What a brave fella. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, no, those Zeus is saying no, no, no. So we're going on six and a half minutes. I am throwing up a second bunker in the front of my base. Got a hammer up here, just a scout, and here you go. We're, all, we're at six and a half minutes, guys, and here comes an attack. This is what I was waiting for, and this is what I was hoping for. These are yellow units. These are yellow units up here, which means that red and yellow are going to attack Fat Squatch together. So I'm going to place all my units right here, and then we're going to back up a little bit, and let them come into that that skinny entrance right there on the hill. It's gonna pinch your guys together. And it's gonna allow me to control them right there and keep them locked into place as those fortresses burn up their guys. There we go. Very nice. Now I'm getting hit from below here too because Red's got grenadiers and riflemen. And they're both attacking me here. While this is happening, while they're both attacking me, yes, Zigzauer is having a good time at Yellow's base. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, why are you guys picking on me? I'm not boosting. I didn't take any resources, any containers or boosts. Come on, man. Anyway, Zigzauer's having a good time down here. I'm laughing. And now I'm going to go ahead and respawn do a counterattack here on red now what I'm gonna try to do is keep red busy so he can't come down here and help his partner and Zigzauer is gonna chip away at yellow's base now because yellow had sent a lot of what he had up here to my base to do it with red and help red red's keeping some guys in base here and now I believe red was going down to help but then he sent his guys back up and that's exactly what I want I want to keep red busy so Zigzauer can have some fun with Yellow's base, and there's no way Yellow can stop it. Oh my goodness. Yes, exactly, exactly what you want. You don't always have to be the strongest player, you guys, as far as your upgrades or your skill levels. But if you play with your, you know, play smart and think about it. Think about what the enemy might want to do, or maybe get them to do it based on what you do that's that's a great way to do it and remember scouting is such a big thing and a lot of times when players scout they'll make a decision based on what they see at the beginning especially on that second scout that was a big one ah oh, yes I th yeah I think they're they're at least red boosting I could feel the, the boosts the difference there all right oh yeah I'm gonna keep them coming keep them busy we've got Jaguars Grenadiers we'll just keep them busy and yellow is pretty much out of the battle now 
Now, if I can just keep yellow focused on blue, keep yellow focused on me, you won't really think about building up any forces down below. You can't really see where Zigzower's at now. But he knows his buddy's base is gone. Now, Yellow had some coyotes over here. He's trying to help help his partner out a little bit. Okay. Zigzower's moving up now. Sending his hammer down just to kind of scout out the back. Because Red's got Hawks. And, and an AV factory back there. Okay. Now we're getting a good look at the rest of Red's base. And Zigzower has Vertex, actually. Nice. Okay. And he's gonna take out that airfield, get rid of those Hawks. Come on, here we go. And I'm just gonna keep on attacking Red from up there. Yellow's got a couple coyotes over here. I don't know what he's doing exactly, but he's he's trying to help. Oh, taking out that anti-air. Nice, thanks for that sniper tower. Thank you, thank you for taking that out. Oh, and well, yeah, green, yellow was trying to rebuild again, but uh, Zigzower said, no, no, no. Here we go. Yes, so I'm building my bunker back up. I'm getting some anti-air just in case. And I am gonna pop out a bunch of infantry now. It's gonna go with a lot of infantry now because they have, a, he's just got Jaguars basically. So I'm going with uh, assaults and heavy assaults. Now Zigzower's made his way to the bottom of Red's base. And Red, Red is, you can see that Jaguar was moving down now because he's got to come down this way. Yeah, he's got to come down to Zigzower, which is going to leave it wide open for me up here. You can't, it's hard, it's hard. That's, that's the whole thing. So you keep them busy. And ultimately, they've got to make a choice, but there's really no choice but to die because <laughs> there's no way to defend against that. Oh, and Yellow had some more coyotes, I guess. Yes, it's the end. And I've got the top. Zigzower's at the bottom. Yeah. Good teamwork. And Red is blowing his own base up. My goodness. Oh, man. Good game. Good game, guys. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that. I mean, if you want to see more Confederation, no boosts, no container battles, leave a comment below this video in the comment area and tell me if you want to see more. Also, tell me how you like this map, Desert Cross. What do you like to do on this map? It's a very interesting map for sure. A lot of 2v2 battles on this one. And you can do a lot of different things. Guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe, all right? And if you want to support my channel, guys, you can become a member. Hit that join button and become a member. Get access to my members only videos. I'm going to be adding some new videos there, talking about what I do, how I play, and trying to help you in your battles. Also, check out my featured friends. They're awesome too. We'll see you guys in the next No Boost Battle.